Well, not quite the return trip to Columbus, Ohio for the first time in 25 years as the Buffaloes fall 37 to 17 to the Buckeyes of Ohio State here at the Horseshoe. Along with Larry Zimmer, I'm Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us in our Buffs recap here at 850 KOA. Partners, you look at this ball game. Um, there's a lot of shooting the Buffaloes <laughs> themselves in the foot in this contest. Not not many long drives for the Buckeyes. The Buffs seem to gift wrap this one for Buckeyes. Boy, they did. And 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 Mark, it was on special teams. It started early, uh, you know, and then you get a kick out of bounds, you get your fumble at the 23 yard line early 90 yard on. Kickoff that return. wasn't special. 90 yard yeah. kickoff return. You can, you know, just chronicle it. But late in the game, uh, until Ohio State's last drive for a field goal, the longest they had to go for a score was 50 yards, and most of it was a lot less than 50 yards. And uh, I think John Embry says it bad, uh, said it best after the game, but he said we're just not a good enough football team that we can make all those mistakes and overcome them. Now the good news is we talk about some of these. You had a bad punt, you had a muff punt, you had yeah. a kick, a 90 yard kickoff return, a fumble at the 23 recovered by Ohio State. These are things you can fix though in a relatively short period of time. Well, uh, let's hope so. I yeah. mean, it's been four games, and they're making the same mistakes for four games. Let's sure. hope that they can fix them uh, because once they, you know, I, I look at it as sort of an all-new season. Uh, the non-conference is over. It's a new season next week, uh, Washington State, first year in the Pac-12. And I think that's the attitude this team has to take and correct these mistakes and get out there and play better football. You know, you look at what Tyler Hansen did, 238 yards passing, well over 50% completion percentage, two touchdowns, no picks. He's got nine touchdown throws and one interception this season under very adverse situations he's continued to play relatively well at quarterback he plays relatively well but uh, I think if, if you ask uh, coach Embry right now he would say he does make some mental mistakes sure. and and I think uh, Embry did say that in his press conference that uh, uh, he is uh, he feels that uh, Tyler being a senior could make better decisions on the field. Now we're going to have to get John to elaborate on that a little bit. Yeah, we but, certainly will. Uh, but I think this is uh, uh, apparently something that he sees as a problem on the offense. Well, certainly will. We'll do that Tuesday night in Buffalo's yeah, prime time at West End Tavern from seven until eight o'clock. Uh, real quick here, uh, in the NFL you got preseason games. You don't have the luxury in college football, but the natural break is that turn from non-conference right. to conference. Exactly. New season, so to speak, for the Buffaloes and Saturday when they host Washington State. It's at home, and uh, it's it's a game that on paper Colorado should win. I'd be very surprised if, if it's not sort of an even game, but yeah. uh, Colorado should win that football game. And uh, and I hope there's a big crowd out there Saturday for the Pac-12 opener and maybe give them momentum going into the next phase of their schedule, which as we talked about with uh, Stanford on the road, with Washington on the road, then Oregon coming in, not easy. So uh, they have to Let's make, let's say get as much confidence as they can next week against Washington State. Well, a bit of history as the Buffaloes will open up Pac-12 conference play as right. Washington State comes into Folsom Field next Saturday. We hope you're going to be there. We'll hit the air at 11:30 with the Buffalo Stampede on a flagship 850 KOA, and then a kickoff at 1:30. But a tough one here in Columbus for Larry Zimmer and Mark Johnson. Bus fall to the Buckeyes at the Horseshoe, 37 to 17. Thanks for being with us on our bus recap here at 850KOA.com.